Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to enable FSR version 3.1.2 frame generation in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 running on my RAW Gala with Windows 11. I'll be using the free DLSS enabler mod. Using the same mod I'll be enabling AMD's Anti-Lag 2 which will help in reducing the latency. Just to be clear, this game supports DLSS frame generation but does not support FSR frame generation. DLSS enabler will just replace DLSS frame generation with FSR frame generation. I'll be honest, I'm not an expert when it comes to flight simulation. I'll keep the gameplay short. This game does include a carrier mode that features missions like firefighting and agricultural flight. I'll be running the PC Game Pass version of the game. On Steam store, the game is priced at 70 US dollars. In India, Microsoft has not followed Valve's recommended regional pricing. Game is priced at around rupees 5000. Yes, you heard it right. If they had followed Valve's recommended regional pricing, game would have been priced at around Rs. 2800. Before showing you the mod setup process, I would like to thank Keymailer and Xbox for providing me with a free monthly subscription of PC Game Pass. This subscription includes hundreds of games. We can play these games for as long as we want until our subscription expires. Games from first party Microsoft Studios and even third party studios are included with PC Game Pass. Even EA Play membership is included. We get a small discount on some games being sold on Microsoft Store in India. Microsoft Store even supports UPI mode of payment. We'll be using this version of DLSS Enabler 3.02.000.0. You can download it for free from GitHub. I'll give its link in the description. Just scroll down until you find the asset section. Expand it. Click on the .exe link. Now this build comes with FSR version 3.1.1. I'll be manually updating FSR to version 3.1.2. You already know how to do this. Just download Fidelity FX SDK version 1.1.2. Scroll down until you find the asset section. I'll give the link to this website in the description. And just click on the dot zip link. Open File Explorer, go to Downloads directory. Here you'll find the downloaded files. I have transferred them to another directory. In this folder, Flight. You can name it anything you want. We just need to install DLSS enabler in the Games install directory. I'll show you this directory. Open Xbox PC app. Go to your library, select Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024, click on the three dots here, click on manage, click on files, click on browse, open the games install folder, there it is, open content folder, this is the final directory, just copy it from here, games exe file should be present here, there it is, now just execute dlss enabler setup file, I accept Next, next, paste the games directory here. Next, select the first option, install as a version or TLL file. Check this option as well, enable support for AMD and Intel GPUs, as ROG Ally has an AMD based GPU. If you have an NVIDIA based GPU, don't check this option. Next, install, uncheck this option, finish. Now I'll be manually updating FSR. Open Fidelity FX SDK.zip file. Open bin folder and just copy this TLL file amd underscore fidelity fx underscore dx12. Paste it in the same directory where you install DLSS enabler. Right here in this directory. Override. You can check the version of FSR. Right click properties details version 1.0.1.38338. It corresponds to FSR version 3.1.2. In the same directory, just look for a file name nvngx.ini. It's here somewhere. There it is. Open it. And just set generator to FSR 31. Reflex on. Reflex emulation auto. Click on file. Click on save. For the PC Game Pass version of the game, games profile does not pop up automatically in adrenaline software. So no access to adrenaline settings. For this game, I've set the UMA buffer size to 5GB. My ally is running on BIOS version 441. I've installed AMD's latest preview GPU driver, which is optimized for Dragon Ace to Belgar. Using a 30W manual profile, all three power values set at 30W. 900p resolution CPU boost disabled. Even at 900p resolution, the game's performance will be bottlenecked by the single core CPU performance. Connected my Gully Kit KK3 Max gamepad to ally via Bluetooth mode. FPS in this game stays within a range of 25 to 35 on ROG LA at 900p resolution low preset. Using a custom afterburner overlay to show you the performance metrics, 
I'll enable anti lag to latency monitor. Press its hotkey combo, Alt Shift and L keys. Keep pressing the combo to cycle through the different display options. Need to have AMD's GPU driver version 24.7.1 or anything newer than that in order to use anti lag 2 on ROG LA. Show you the game settings now. Display mode, full screen, resolution 900p. Anti leasing, need to set it to. DLSS, there you go. This means the mod is working. Using the upscale as quality preset. Frame generation disabled for the time being. Vsync off. Nvidia reflex enable very important. Otherwise, anti lag 2 won't work. Dynamic setting disabled. Advanced setting. Most of the settings are set to low. Effects disabled. So many settings are available. Motion blur off. Glass cockpit refresh rate set to high. That's it. I'll just start a solo flight. Ready to fly. This is the cockpit view. Here FPS is a bit variable. Ranging from 26 to 34. Not hitting the GPU bottleneck, 90% GPU load, so the game's performance is limited by the single core CPU performance. I'll just change the camera perspective. There's the control panel. Select camera. Game freezes for a couple of seconds when you open the camera settings external. Much better. Close the toolbar. Yeah, now we are getting around 30 to 35 FPS 25 FPS there Latency value is around 55 milliseconds Just gain some speed Hopefully I won't crash my plane Can observe the choppiness. If is staying around 30, speed is increasing. Taking off. Wish me luck. <laughs> I did it. Stall. Don't want to crash <laughs> on the runway. Stall. Gaining altitude. Yeah, so 30 to 30 FPS without frame generation. Latency value staying around 55 millisecond. I'll just enable frame generation. On. Keep an eye on the FPS counter. Resume the game. Yeah, FPS increase to around 65. Look at that increase in latency. Increase from 55 milliseconds to around 85 milliseconds or 30 milliseconds increase in latency. Can observe the added amount of smoothness. Oh no. Need to take a left turn. Complete the pattern. The choppiness is gone now. No, not going down. <laughs> Airport area is more demanding than the open area but you are going to spend most of your time flying your plane not just sitting in your plane parked at the airport Gainsword elements are not flickering Ok I am observing some minor ghosting around the plane around its tail can definitely use frame generation in this game real world input delay not a first person shooter almost hitting the GP bottleneck now I'll switch to the cockpit view 
do it quickly <laughs> before my plane crashes game freezes for a few seconds and we change the camera angle I think I did it, yeah inside the plane, see the yoke toggle visibility look at that environment just move the camera angle around change the speed <laughs> interacting with the yoke you need to stay in the pattern for the sake of this exercise 50 to 60 fps so that's it with the video guys i hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day